watched the college game till last season when Coach Prime came to Colorado. And I am in Colorado <laughs> at Folsom Field. I am the Colorado Buffalo's auntie <laughs> from Texas. Sweet treat. Hey, I, I've been following the pregame show. It's all about let's go Buffs. Away from Texas. Yes, sir. Watch you every single day. Nobody lays it down like Uncle Neely and the pregame show. Neely, the pregame show behind the scenes of everything. And why does he get that kind of access? Why does he get that kind of access? Because trust is involved. You would never get the kind of access you desire unless there's trust and relationship. You're just trying to put your phone hand. Jay Mack from Syracuse, New York. Man, came all the way out to see my Colorado sure. Buffs. What hey, channel do you watch that brought you out here? The pregame show. <laughs> It's Monday. It's the final week of fall camp. Yep. We almost did it. Almost. Almost. So we got a good one today. Uh, we got our house fried chicken. You guys know the drill. We break down whole birds, buttermilk marinade, double dredge, double fry. I think they're coming out off. Uh, then we got a little grilled marinated flank steak. We put a blackened rub on those, and those have been sitting for about two days. Uh, we got the day off on Saturday, which was nice. So a couple proteins got an extra day of marination. So let me know if you noticed that. Uh, then we got a sautéed salmon filet, we got a dirty rice, some baked potatoes, some sweet corn on the cob, a little honey and butter on that, a uh, big veggie medley, broccoli, carrot, asparagus, green bean, Brussels sprout, and a Caesar salad. Burger bar and chicken sandwiches over there, pasta bar in the dining room, salad bar over here. My oh, man, and it's just Monday. It's just Monday. <laughs> Heavy, Neely. Yeah. You can feel this. That's like a pound and a half right there. That thing's heavy. How long you drop them for? All right. So this is part of that process. Uh, so they go down for six first time, then they come up for three, then down for another four. Uh, and that way we're not finishing them in the oven. We're not getting any oil that's running off and kind of getting soggy bits in the bottom of the oven. Uh, but it's tricky. We have two different size fryers here. So one's at 300, one's at 325. So we start in one, we let them rest, and they finish in the hotter one. Um, this has been really tricky to dial this in, but I'm really proud of this protocol right here. This is science to it, man. It is, man. It is. Monday night. So tonight we got just a roasted chicken thigh for you guys. We got a brown sugar steak. We got fried shrimp with cocktail sauce, rice and beans, a little french fry, uh, broccoli and cheese, and a Caesar salad, pineapple, and pasta station for you guys. Yeah, yeah there you are. Steaks looking good. Thank you. Hey, good morning, Neely. How are we doing? Doing good. What we got going today? We got a nice breakfast today. Uh, we got yoga you got a parking. nice haircut today. I did. Truth be told, though, it was a new barber, and I wasn't too into it. I hate so, new barbers. Man. I know, man. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Same guy for months, and switched it up on me. Yeah. But, you know. It was great, man. Uh, thank you, man. Anyway, uh, we got a nice yogurt parfait up front, ton of fresh fruit, granola, all the oatmeal yeah. toppings. Then we got oatmeal grits, scrambled eggs, we're doing a cheesy scramble today, uh, fried egg, 
We got turkey sausage link, pork patty, and bacon. Then we got a roasted Yukon Gold potato wedge. We got blueberry pancakes today. Um, avocado toast, which has been a hit lately. We got a big breakfast burrito. And that's it. Let me tell you a secret fun fact. Fun fact. I've never had pancakes here. Really? Yeah. Okay. I've never had pancakes. Okay. I always get the French toast sticks. Yeah, um, that's hard to pass up. Yeah. Well, but I might try blueberry try the pancakes. Blueberries. Yeah, yeah. All right, brother. Hi, dude. You know, you call this mise en place. It means everything in its place. Uh, we're doing a little filming for CU Media today. We're gonna plate some tacos. So we got three different tacos we're gonna plate, and this is all of our mise. Uh, but for the main line, doing tacos and burritos. As you can see, uh, we got a ton of options today. So you can roll a big fat 13 inch tortilla burrito. You can get some small six inch flour tortillas. Or we can get some four and a half inch uh, corn street tacos. Uh, so, we're doing a Spanish rice today with peas and carrots and tomatoes. And we cook the rice in like a chicken, chipotle, roasted pepper broth. Um, then we got both of our beans, uh, a nice Cuban style black bean with onions and peppers, and a refried bean with a ton of bacon fat. We cook a ton of bacon every single day, right? So we save all that fat and we try to incorporate it when we can. This is a great recipe for that. Uh, then we got four proteins. We got a grilled marinated skirt steak. We got a braised chicken thigh. We got a sauteed chili lime cilantro shrimp. And we got the ground beef. Uh, oh, we forgot a hard shell taco. We can also do a hard shell taco today too. Then we got block, pico, sour cream, shredded lettuce, a salsa verde, a salsa rojo, a corn salsa. We got some extra toppings up front today. We got lime wedges, uh, radishes, and some pickled red onions. Then we got a new churro today. We got a Bavarian cream stuffed churro. Little yeah, little fusion action. Yeah, today, and we got pasta bar, and we got salad bar. A lot so, of choices this year. Yeah, you know what they say, Neil. Be a damn fool. Yeah, he would be. Yeah, fans, this is uh, yeah, good evening. cheesesteak action? Yeah, Philly we got a little steak? Philly cheesesteak, choice of pepper and onion, cheese sauce, of course. Of course, it's got to be wit. Um, we got some blackened chicken, some blackened mahi-mahi. Uh, we got mashed potatoes, onion rings, corn with good butter, salt, pepper. We got um, broccolini, a little bit of uh, Tony's satchel seasoning. I don't know if you guys know this. We go through probably like four cases a month of this stuff right here. And then a nice toss salad. And then of course we got pasta bar out there for you guys tonight. Man, I appreciate it, man. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. I'm a Dallas Cowboys fan, but let me just feel the cheese steak. Hey, enjoy it. Enjoy this one. Chef Ant at lunch. Hey, how you doing today? Good. What you got, bro? We're good. We got grilled barbecue chicken. We got a really nice brisket that we cooked overnight, did a little bit of barbecue on. We got a pulled pork slider with pickle today. Really good on the little Hawaiian rolls. And I added coleslaw to mine. Yep, yeah, yeah, that's the way to do it, especially with pork. Um, we got baked beans, we got cabbage, and coleslaw, mac and cheese, of course. So, And then Chef took some Colorado peaches today. I'll show you. We did a really nice grill on them, finished them off with a little simple syrup, put them in the oven. Just a few minutes, really good, really good. Colorado peaches. Colorado peaches. I oh, mean, appreciate you, man. What's up, man? Barbecue <laughs> chicken. Yeah, barbecue chicken. Oh, it's these sides, though. Couple pieces of chicken. I can't get a side of chicken. Yeah. I gotta get away from pork. Okay. I like the beans. And here. Yes, sir. I am trying to make a smoothie of the month right now for September. We're trying to base it around peaches because they're in season. So I'm over here kind of test testing my samples and we're working on it. Still working on it. So far, I have peaches all the way up to here, add a little bit of banana to sweeten it. 
then I put milk in it to make it creamy, and then honey to kind of go with like a peaches and cream is what I'm trying to aim for. So peaches and cream. I peaches like and it. cream. So we're working on it. It's a work in progress, but it's getting there. That's for sure. You know what I like more than peaches and cream. What? All three flavors <laughs> of the of the slushies. Yes. That's right. I mean, they've been very popular. That's for sure. Do I'll you take want all one? three in one cup. Okay. Which one on the bottom? It doesn't matter. Okay. You got it. What's up, Neely? We got a good one today. All right. We got a classic seafood boil. Uh, so as you see right here, we got some local andouille sausage. Uh, just searing that up, cut them on a bias. Then we got some sauteed uh, Old Bay shrimp, a little lemon, butter, and parsley. Same thing on some lobster tails. Go get you some lobster tails before those things run out. Uh, then we got some snow crab legs. Same thing, Old Bay, lemon, and butter. Uh, we got some whole boiled red potatoes, some local corn on the cob. Uh, some roasted broccoli and a cob salad. We got burger bar up front, just in case you're not feeling the seafood theme. Yeah. Pasta bar and salad bar. Man, I cannot wait. Yesterday we missed yeah. that you had some local pork and local beef or something along those lines. Yeah, so a couple cool items there. Uh, we had some Kuraboda pork, uh, also known as Berkshire pork. It's just like a heritage breed of pigs. They're black pigs, which is interesting. They're completely black in color, which is kind of unique. Uh, and they're known worldwide for having like the most succulent, marbled, flavorful pork. So we got those, we braised them overnight, we shredded it, we made our own barbecue sauce, and we put them on some Hawaiian roll sliders. Oh man, the with sliders. The oh my god. What'd you think of that? that oh, it's money, huh? Yeah. Money in the bank. I had about four or five of those. I'm I had three and I wanted ten. And you're twice my size. <laughs> I mean that lovingly. Uh, and we also, what else did we have yesterday? We had the curaboda pork. Oh, and we had some local brisket uh, yeah. from Buckhead Farms. So, yeah, we get uh, as much local, fresh, seasonal as we can, organic when we can, you know? And that's, when you're working with good ingredients, it's easier to do what we do. Good ingredients, good team, good technique. Good hey, nah, it's not Why? all me. It's all these guys, man. Why would anyone go anywhere else? Damn fool. I've not been video videoing her, her experiments. So. Yes. <laughs> You gotta try it. You're not gonna like it because it's bland. It's peaches and strawberries instead of bananas. Because the bananas too overpowering. It is very bland. It's also very chunky. <laughs> try this one. Or a smoothie. The, the frozen peaches just don't it's have that. It's so hot flavor. Is that better? I put yogurt in it and I feel like that overpowered it. Ben is like, no. Yeah. I know. We're not there yet. I don't think we found our winner yet. <laughs> <laughs> the hardest working man in the food. Ooh, appreciate you, man. It's not just me. All these guys, we're all we're all crushing out today. It's Monday. It's Monday. It's game everybody's week. back. It's game week. Super and, excited. You know, I'm glad you said that everybody's back because what they've been seeing is you just feeding the fall sports. Like football has been here. Maybe soccer comes in and out. Correct. And now everybody's back. Correct. So anybody that was in fall camp, you know, training mode, we were feeding them the last month. It was really only football, soccer, and volleyball. And those two sports were in here all the time. Uh, so, you know, a little different cooking strategy when we're only cooking for a select few. We bring all of our athletes back that are from everywhere, all over the world. Yeah. So we got a global palette now. Uh, so, you know, we just add a few things to the mix. We're getting work today. They're all back. Uh, so, at the end of the line, we got a chicken pesto pasta. Really nice grilled chicken, chopped into some fresh made pesto. Basil's from my garden. Your garden. Your basil this, this uh, summer, so brought in all that basil today. Uh, we got some grilled rib by steak with a fennel -y blackened rub on it. Uh, then we got a teriyaki soy curl. That's what we're working with here. So these are really cool. Um, great vegetarian protein, similar to tofu and tempeh. We rehydrate it with a flavored broth, then we sear it up and sauce it up again. It's really pretty good. It has like a, like a pulled pork, braised chicken kind of feel to it. So even if you're not into vegetarian stuff, it's a good one. Then we got some glazed sweet potatoes. We got some uh, honey butter sweet corn, still in did season. Did you skip over the crab cakes? Oh, I did. I can't I'm let sorry. you skip over the crab cakes. I'm sorry, cakes. I did skip the crab cakes. We got a crab cake today. Uh, corn, roasted broccoli, and a kale Caesar. Grated Pecorino Romano on the top. Burgers and chicken up front, but then we also added a few different composed salads up front. So we got an Asian rice noodle salad with a bunch of veg. We got a cranberry almond couscous salad and we got a Southwest quinoa salad. 
Uh, we got our full salad bar and we got Nawang spinning pasta bowls in the back at the pasta bar. You just have to be a damn fool, chef. I'm you, gonna cut to right damn, you might have to be a damn fool to try to cook all of this because <laughs> this, this is a lot of work, man. But we, we love what we're doing. You. Yeah, we appreciate you. How about a little more? Uh, yeah, that'd be great. You got it? Is that good right yeah, there? Yeah, that's good. Nice. Yo. Right here. Healy, you want me to buzz you? I'm good, thank you. Got a good one. Uh, so we got a Neely Classic down on the end, grilled cheese and tomato soup. <laughs> you need to name that the Neely. The Neely. Uh, fun little tweak on that today. I got basil in my garden that's just been blowing up like crazy. So I brought it all in. We put a little basil in the soup today. Gotcha. So tomato basil, uh, grilled cheese. Then we got a nice roasted chicken with a cacio e pepe sauce. Typically it's on a pasta, uh, just means cheese and black pepper. But we're gonna put that on the chicken today. Or not, yeah. just have roasted chicken. Uh, then we got some grilled T-bones, a little compound garlic butter on that. Uh, then we got a blackened snapper. It's really hitting today. I don't know why, but it is really awesome today. Uh, then we got a wild mushroom risotto. So that's a good one. Uh, going with a roasted asparagus, a baked potato, all the toppings up front. Caprese salad, more basil from the garden. And uh, we got burgers and chicken up front. We got two cold composed salads up front. Southwest quinoa and an Asian rice noodle. Uh, we got our salad bar over here and pasta bar in the back. And in the background, Chef Anthony is cutting up something. Those are filet mignons for tonight, oh. aka beef tenderloin. Uh, so he's got he's got quite the task cleaning all those up today. Uh, he's doing great. Well, I'm gonna get my favorite. Go get it, Neely. <laughs> Organic maitake mushrooms, fresh grated pecorino romano. Yes. My man, Chef. He's always hiding. He knows. <laughs> All right. Chef, what we got? So tonight, I've got a nice honey garlic chicken thigh. We got beef tenderloin with a beef demi on it. We got fried shrimp with cocktail sauce. We have a grilled tempeh, yellow rice mashed potatoes, grilled broccolini, and a really nice Caesar salad. And then we got a baked potato bar and a pasta bar for you guys baked tonight. Potatoes, yeah, of course. Yeah. Talking about those steaks over there, man. Steaks? So we hand trim these. They come in full tenderloin, break them all down, cut them for you guys fresh. Nice sear on both sides, finish them off in the oven for a few minutes. Some guys like them a little bit more well done. Um, we can always do to order as well. So yeah, got a little salt and pepper on them. Finally. So this is kind of like a Friday, but it's a Wednesday. It is, yeah. What do you got for it? All right, so we got our burrito taco menu today. Uh, cilantro lime rice, refried beans, Cuban black beans, braised chicken. We did a boneless beef short rib today, a little barbacoa, so that's really good. Uh, we got a sauteed chili lime shrimp and a ground beef, corn salsa, pico de gallo, guacamole, uh, red salsa, grilled peach salsa, salsa verde, all made from scratch, of course. Guacamole, uh, shredded cheese, sour cream, and churros. And we got quesadillas up front on the bar, pasta bar, and salad bar. I can't wait. 
Hey, this is my favorite. I'm about, I got a play waiting for me right now, too, so I gotta go. Ah, look at those quesadillas. Yeah. Put my name on them. We got a chicken and a cheese, a chihuahua cheese, really good melting cheese. They're awesome. You're the man, Chef. Hey, you're the man. Let's go, bro. We up from Miami, Florida. Man. All right, man. Oh, Appreciate y'all coming, man. Hey, man, we love what you guys are doing, man. We want to support you in every way. Appreciate your family. And, and we're recruiting at home. Everything we see at home, we bring it this way. My That's man. Thank you. You got to believe. Dude, we've been believing since day one, That's dog. Remember back in Jackson State? We've been believing with you in the pregame show.